All right, so today on the run stand, we have the red motor. Uh, this thing usually just sits up in the background, but I figure I'd throw it up on the run stand, uh, go over every bit of it, and then do a test fire. So this thing actually started live as a junkyard motor. Uh, I found it about three years ago, pulled it out of a van, brought it home, opened it up, had a broken piston, and now it's turned to this. So this motor on the engine dyno made 570 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 500 pound feet at 5,500 RPM, so quite a bit. Uh, now let me go over everything from top to bottom. First thing is the carburetor. So it's a QFT 750, uh, double pumper, uh, mechanical secondary, uh, no choke horn whatsoever, down leg booster, anodized red, metering block and throttle plate. Really, really nice carburetor. Underneath that is a Holley 300-256 intake manifold. It's a high rise single plane. Uh, cathedral port style. Next is uh, Granatelli coil packs, wires, and valve covers. So these are their aftermarket coil packs. Uh, they're in the Gen 4 body, which I really like, and they're colored. And they're zero ohm wires, and then their valve covers really clean up at LS engines because you have no bracketry. Underneath the valve covers, we have a set of AFR enforcer heads. So these are their new budget line. Uh, they flow 268 CFM on the intake at uh, 600 thousandths. Uh, 64 cc chamber, 210 runner, uh, two inch intake valve, and a 1.6 exhaust. The only thing we changed was the valve springs. So I'll go over the cam next, but the valve springs that come with these heads don't support over 600,000 lift, and we put a set of 475 pound springs for more than that. The camshaft is from Tick Performance. It's a street heat stage three for six liter, also called the Polluter V2. It's a cam I've been a fan of for a really long time. It's uh, 239, 244, uh, 111 with two degrees of advance. Very aggressive cam. Has uh, 19 and a half degrees of overlap, so quite a bit. And the lift split is 635 on the intake, 610 exhaust. And it has their push rods. Uh, we have their full Elite Series cam kit in here. Um, lifters are stock. Um, pistons, those are next. So the pistons are a CP piston. They're five thousandths over. This motor had a broken piston, but it didn't actually have any like bore wear or any bore damage. So the pistons are flat with a negative 2.7 cc valve relief. Uh, didn't need it. We checked piston to valve. It didn't actually need the valve relief, but it's just good to have it anyway. And they all come like that. And uh, with the 64 cc chambers uh, on the heads and the negative two cc dish with like whatever over out of the bore, it's just at like 10.9 to one compression. That's about it for aftermarket parts in the motor. The rods are stock Gen 4 rods, my favorite rod, uh, with just ARP bolts. Uh, the pistons, I guess I'll say that too, the pistons are designed for the stock 6098 rod and the crankshaft is stock. Exterior wise, the last aftermarket piece is the Holley 302-2 swap oil pan, basically the same as an F-body pan. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically everything. I'll now I'll just throw fuel in it, throw the battery on it, and hope this thing fires up and runs good. So gravity fuel's on, battery's hooked up, we got the mufflers on. Uh, I haven't fired this motor in a really long time, so I hope it's just lights right off, but let's see what happens. Contact.
Yeah, so it runs pretty good. Uh, it's really good to see this thing running again after like sitting for at least a year. So uh, originally the plan was to put this engine in the El Camino. The problem is that the T56 that's in it definitely cannot handle 500 pound feet of torque. I have a clutch that will handle it, uh, which I'll talk about in a future video. But yeah, a stock output shaft uh, definitely will just break immediately. So this you know, could go in the El Camino once it has, or once I have a T56 with a billet output shaft. The other idea we've been throwing around is putting it into our new car. Uh, we haven't shown that yet, that's right over there, that's coming up in a new video. Uh, that's theoretically, because this is a 24 tooth motor, we could theoretically just drop that right in, go from there, but I think we're just gonna keep this thing around. Hopefully at some point we'll have a car worth putting this in. Uh, but one more thing I want to do is I think I want to close the garage and just start it with open headers It's going to be extremely loud and way too loud for the neighborhood But yeah, I think I'm just gonna close the garage pull the mufflers off and we'll start it for like like 10 seconds All right open header time. See how it sounds <laughs> 